Hello guys, um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, very very warm welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being so loyal. Thank you. Um, if you are here and you haven't seen a video similar to this, like these two faces together mm -hmm. and stuff, just pause, leave this video and then look for part one of the story time because you're gonna kind of get confused if you just watch this alone. <laughs> In the last video we left off the story where he this nigger called steven was basically trying to like two-time us in a way like mm -hmm. whenever he whenever he bumps into aura he'll be like i oh, no, i like you i don't want to date younger that time like, i'm not trying to date him so i don't know i feel like at some point we kept entertaining him because he was being such an idiot. Yes, I feel like I just wanted to see where, like, where he think this was gonna, like, how far he thought this was gonna go. Like, I mean, with guys, we're <laughs> always to get. Like, I couldn't understand how. Like, oh my god! But no. anyway, so I had like kind of cut ties with him because I think he did something. He was just your alone. room, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> guys, how can I forget? Do you know that I'm still paranoid up to this day? Dude, wait, are you talking about when he came to my room yes. or when he came in the end? Which Both. one? Which one came first? The one that came first is when he was no. being freaky and he came into my room. Oh, yes. Without... Dude, guys, I was ignoring this guy. Like, I was trying my best to ignore him because he was starting, like, to get used to, like, just calling me and then like now i must come to the boardroom and study even when i'm not writing but I'm like come on yeah. so this this one night like i was just ignoring him like i would see his calls and i was just like i even fell asleep ne? so basically i lived in a corner room so if you don't so basically like it's a it's a it's a corner of a building that has two rooms of which have a main door so before you get in so you open the main door then there's like a mini passage and there's like two rooms there. Mm. So my neighbor and I always used to lock the room from inside. Like when we're sleeping. Yeah, boy. And I was, we would still lock our own rooms. But that specific night, Lord knows what happened. I don't know. I think she hadn't been back or whatever the case. And for some reason, I didn't lock my room. Next thing, I'm sleeping, guys. I'm sleeping. Then my lights turn on. <laughs> my lights turn on. I'm like... Like, I got, the minute my lights turned on, like, you know, my conscious was like, hey, because I can't do it. But I still, you know, I, I, I slept still because I was scared by what is going on. Mm. Then I was like, you know what? This is freaky. Let me just turn. Let me just, God, please. Like, if there's a person standing there with a the gun, forgive me of all my sins. I'm dying. It's fine. But I just want to see what's going on. So when I turn around, is this nigga not standing in my room, bruh? No, no. Nigga opened no. my door and he switched the lights. Oh my god. Then he's like, nah, sorry. I was just worried. I thought something happened to you because you haven't been answering my call. I was like, bruh, please get out. Like, what the f? Like, why? Why are you here? I was like, please get out. Like, leave. Leave. Leave, bruh, leave. Then he was busy, like, acting like I'm chasing him out. And he's like, I'm ruthless and things like that. And I'm just, no, that was a different time. That's that other day. Oh, shucks. Okay. So that was the time I was like, bruh. What am I doing up? Why? Where do you get the nerve to get into someone's room? Bruh, just go in. No knocks, no nothing. You even go 3 a.m. to switch on the line. Go 3 a.m. And you don't think that's weird. You don't think that's effed up. Wow. And wow. Then that was the last, last, last. Ooh, I just thought of something. I know what happened after that with you involved. Mm. Anyway, that was the very, very, very last time him and I spoke. Then a week later, I think he called me. It was when we were still waiting for our exam because our exam got interrupted. Everyone else was gone. So we had plans to go watch a movie. Mm -hmm. then, oh. Yeah. So he tried calling me a few nights before that. And the one time I was just, I just answered the phone and I ignored it and stuff. Like, I just let him speak by himself. Because clearly he wasn't get, getting the picture. Mm. So then, yeah, he also got annoyed that day and was like, sharp, cool. Then, you and I went to Waterfront. Yes. And <laughs> while we were waiting for our taxi fire, he first called me. He called me again and he was like, 
why were you being rude yesterday like i was trying to talk to you and you were just not speaking back what was that all about and i think because he gave me like a proper proper call like a phone call mm. and then i think he ran out of airtime yeah then next thing your phone is ringing then no i think you guys had a oh i think you told him that you were out so i think he was asking if you're on campus oh yeah i was like, like i'm not on campus no, i'm not in, i'm not in my room mm. then after that call ended he called me not even two minutes after not campus. even oh so you wanted someone who's on campus yes. to chill with so after he Did called you really me think i was gonna chill with him either? i'm like brothers what are you doing with your life so he calls, he's like, ah, oh, where are you? I'm like, I'm out. He asks me, are you out with your boyfriend? Or who are you out with? I'm like, and I'm I'm sleeping out. over. Are you? Yeah. Like I'm that. Like, I remember. Bruh. The Uber driver even said you were so rude. <laughs> yeah. Because the way you were answering him. <laughs> I wasn't having it. I was like, wait, what? What? Yeah. yeah, so that day. I remember that night we went, we were waiting for the movie. Then we went to, at my, we went to Mug and Bean and we sat. Mm. And that's when you actually told me, like, why you don't want to date this guy. And you were telling oh, yeah. me, that's when she told me, like, what he was doing. Like, saying that he likes her, doesn't want to date me, and things like that. And I was like, this guy is trash. Like, in the sidelines, while while he was pursuing Yanga, he was also doing the same with me. So, he would, like, call me all the time. And I just, like, I, honestly, I was just like, bruh. I was rude, like I was the rude one. I would just <laughs> tell him nonsense and he would still be on my back. Like, <laughs> like he would just come at random times and I'd just be like, bruh, no, just like go. Tomorrow he'll be back again and I'd just be like, the hell? What the hell? Yeah. Your guys. Yeah. And yeah. the thing is with him, now, whenever you try, the, like, when you think about him, when, you, when you're like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't bump into Steven. You, you bump, into bump into him. him. Yo. You bump, but for me, he did. He never used to like harass me as much as he harassed you. Yeah, no, I know. You really, you. Especially, I remember this one time I was walking with a friend, a guy friend from school, and he just stopped. Like he just stopped at us, and he was like, "Aura, hi." Like as if there's something wrong that I'm doing with mm. walking with this guy, and I was just like, "Bruh." So anyway, Muna, that after that time, I was like. Bam, that's it. And it's gonna be 30 seconds one. Please bring me my lunchbox. Mm. Okay, cool. Mm. It was the day, it was a Sunday after he tried l- like looking for your room. Remember when you were even scared and you were switching oh, off yeah. your phone? And yeah, stuff. and my yo, bruh. Yo, I remember that night he called me and he's like, I want to come talk to you. Then I was like, No, you can't come talk to me. I was like, No, because he didn't know where I lived, he just knew I lived. In a, in, in a block. In a block. Mm. So then he called me, called me, called me. I think he had a friend on that floor. Did he have a friend on that floor? I think he just used to open doors like. Yeah. Because so, like here, yeah, guys, we have like <clears throat> our doors. You need you need a card to open it, and if you don't stay in that block, you don't have access unless yeah. your house come or whatever. So with him, I think he just used to break. He the used door to forcefully open, open that yeah. door. So he was calling, and he was like. I'm coming whether you like it or not. Like, I felt so terrorized. And then, like, I had to switch off. No, then I heard the door open. The main door. The main door open. And I was so scared. And I could hear footsteps as if he was looking for which room it is. Yeah. Oh, and he was calling you so he could. Yeah. Hear. He was calling me so I had to switch my phone off, put it on. So I was terrorized, traumatized. Mm. Then, the, that was the Saturday night. Then the Sunday after afternoon i went downstairs to go fetch my 30 seconds then guess what he said like after he gave me my stuff bro he's like he gave me my 30 seconds and there's one thing he didn't i think he didn't bring back my lunchbox because the mm. girl that other girl probably still had it if yeah. that was my lunchbox but then i didn't care i was like i plastic with it's fine as long as i have my 30 seconds board game then he's like so really like this is it i'm like what are you even talking about like acting like but we didn't even date so you know then I was just like, ah, bra, 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 bra. Then I kind of saw him still standing there. Ne? Mm. So as I'm going upstairs, because I told you when I was going to fetch my stuff, mm. I told you about, okay, I'm going downstairs to fetch my stuff from him. I'm going to come. Oh, because you wanted to tell me the story of what happened the previous night. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to come to your room. So you are already waiting for me on the second floor. Then the minute I, like, I opened the door to meet Aura, he's calling Aura. Saying, yes. Can I please talk to you? Guys, oh he had just given God. me my stuff. <laughs> He had just given me my stuff. Then he calls Aura. He's like, can I meet up with you? And things like that. 
and, and then it's that day when we put him on loudspeaker mm. and yo <laughs> that was the best that was the highlight of everything like guys yo you tell me like, he was saying so basically what happened is that after Yanga came to me he called like immediately he called and I was like perfect to put him on loudspeaker and the thing is he was telling Yanga how like this can't be it this, mm. this, you know things as if he's some someone that wants to fight for something yeah mm. something ah bruh not even like minutes after he wants to fight for something with another person he's calling me and he's telling me about how he is the one that broke, broke up, up. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, he was no. acting like he's the, Okay, guys, um, we might be saying he broke up as if we dated, but we genuinely didn't date. But he's he was saying, like, he's the one that cut all ties with me. Yeah. So he was telling Aura, he, he cut all ties with me so that I, so that sh- they can be together. Mm. So he was like, so Aura was like, you're lying, bro. Why are you lying? Literally for 10, for a good five minutes, mm. the phone call was about why are you lying? Why are you lying? Yo. So then he was like, okay, Aura, you sound like you know, a, you know something like, Clearly, there's something that you know that I don't know. And then Aura was like, but like you and Yanga had a fight though. And she told you that she has she wants nothing mm-hmm. to do with you. So how? How did you break? Like, how, how did, did you, you end, cut like, ties? You know? And then he guess what he says. He's like, do you remember what he said? He was like, no, um, I did that on purpose. Like, I oh, started, yeah, he said he staged ah! the fight. I staged the fight because I knew, you know, she was going to be angry so that I can be with you. Yo, we laughed. And he kept hearing a laugh. He's like... Who's laughing mm-hmm. in the background? Who's in there? And then Aura's like, nah, it's no just one. Me, it's bruh. just me. You like he things? proper was lying through his teeth. He was lying. Like, and I lying. heard. Do you know that I still have the voice note of a phone call? Really? On my phone. You if it was saved with my iCloud, I still have that voice note. But it's super long and tedious. It's like, yo, 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 yo. So he basically literally lied, you guys. Like he lied. He was then, saying how everything was his plan. I was telling him everything that happened, like. You can't Facts. be coming to me. You did this. You did this. This Facts. is what happened. No, no, no. And he was saying, I staged that. I knew he, I knew she would react. So I did this. So she would react. So we can just cut ties. And I was like, bruh, how? And then I remember you were like, dude, this is not going to happen. This is not a thing. Like, I'm not your, I don't know. Like, it's not going to happen. Then he's like, I, 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 or, how did he call your name? Again? Or. But yeah, what is Aura? Oh yeah, he's Zulu. <laughs> so just imagine. So he's like, Aura, you see, I you wanna you made me leave Uyanga now. Now mm. um you don't wanna be with me and stuff. I feel like you guys are playing me <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I feel like you guys are playing me. Yo yeah! That's when I was like, This guy is not okay. He's not like he's fine. genuinely not grand. He's not. Like he's not He thought we were playing games with him. Please tell me how we could possibly have been playing him. Just you played yourself. Like you genuinely, played yourself. like he's a player that got played, and you he played was yourself. blaming us for doing that. He wanted us to just. I don't understand. Like I still don't understand how he sees us that we're always together, but he does all these things, and he expects it he ex- to work. He expects us to not talk about it. Yeah, because he would tell you things, and or he would tell me things, and be like, oh, I know you're gonna tell your friend, but don't yeah. tell your friend this. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, bruh, are you fine? Genuinely, like, are genuinely, you genuinely speaking, like, like, we're like, concerned. Person. We're literally concerned about your sanity. Like, are yeah. you actually okay? So basically, like, um, as of as the phone call, you know, um, proceeded, um, he sort of like found out that I was in the room mm. or whatever the case. So then we acted like I was walking. Remember, we acted like I was walking. So I walked out of the room. Then oh, I and knocked. The door. I acted like I'm knocking. I was like, knock, 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 knock. And then, and then I was, I'm thinking, I was like, come in. So I came in. And then I was like, oh, you're talking. I said something rude, shame. I think I was like, oh, you're talking to that nigga or something like that. Then he's like, young, why are you saying that? Why do you have to be rude? Now the fight turned around was about me. Why are you being rude? I've never said I've never said you this chick or whatnot, whatnot. Mm. Why are you being rude and hey, 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 hey? No, I think you were saying bye Felicia or something. <laughs> and my Felicia. <laughs> Who's Felicia? Good time to be Felicia. Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. 
then I repeated it again. Then he's like, yeah, good time with you. Good time with you. Wow. Yeah, but nigga played himself he shame. Did. He, really he played did. himself. But he literally just left me. But like every time he would see me on campus, he'd be like, oh, you look so beautiful. He was just like, like oh, just oh, those oh. people that are always around. For a good year. But like last year, I couldn't have been bothered. He... Like he, he just knew he he knew it was over for him last year. Mm. But for me just like he didn't try anything. So I was like That's how you should have acted in the first place, nigga. And I feel like that's how you should deal with guys that cheat in general. Don't fight with the girl. Like Yeah, like honestly. So now imagine I was like, yo Or oh, imagine I decided, okay, no, I'm not gonna be friends with you because I wanna date this mm. nigga. Whereas in actual fact, Auntie, he's, the he's one still that's... pursuing you, bruh. Just guys, yeah. don't do it. Okay, guys, this video has been long, but that's how that's the story of how Stephen played himself. Yeah, you played yourself. So, you played yourself. You played yourself. She cheated on you. She cheated. Yeah. On. Dribble, dribble. We dribbled you. We <laughs> did the dribbling yes. in this situation. We dribbled you. We, we did it. You. And it's so awkward, like meeting his friends. Yeah. Not awkward, but and I, also, I, I always wonder what they think. Like when you see like his friends when they can see we're still friends, I'm like mm. I wonder like what goes through. But yeah. also like it's true what they say your boyfriend's friends are not I'm your not friends. Your friend. Because they they were genuinely like not saying anything. Yeah. And they they're the nicest people ever. Like they they're are. nice but they're not your friends. They can be nice to you, but they're not your friends. They're not. So. They'll always be loyal to the guy, so yeah, and we actually found out that this nigga is always after girls. He's gone now, and I really feel like you can notice that he's not there. Like, like there's like a, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. But yeah, yeah um, if you guys enjoyed the story time, if you guys have similar stories, please do comment and share down below. I'd love to laugh and. Mm -hmm. Please um subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I mean, comment, like, like, do the things. Share if you feel like you need to share. Um, yeah. Otherwise, guys, I still believe in love. I'm a big yeah. Like I'm a definitely. big you know like I believe in love. I'm sorry this video was long, but it is a story time. So, ting ting ting. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.